Oh, I really like that contrast there, man. That's, that's gonna look really cool. I'm gonna do this with my hands, I think, guys. Just gives it a blue hue right there. This looks a little fake to me. I'm just gonna tap it. That's really a cool effect that you get just by lacing that. The more that you move it around with a heat gun, the more you make it look like marble. All I'm doing now is just adding some visual interest right here in the center. I think what I'm gonna do now is just add a dirty pour on top of this. Oh, those are so cool. Guys, I'm super proud of this piece that we just made. We actually used a combination of metallic powders, some dyes, we even used some spray paint and our clear stone coat epoxy. I'm gonna show you step by step all kinds of different techniques of how we created this from scratch. This is a piece of MDF, that's wood, that we coated with epoxy to look like exotic stone. This was an old sample, and I teach you how to cover an old sample to make a new one. If you had a tabletop, a desktop, a hearth, countertops, shower panels, and more, this is the same technique no matter what surface. Learn right now how to do fractured exotic stone like a pro. Stay tuned, enjoy the video. Remember, when you subscribe to our channel, click on the red subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks again. Guys, we were trying a recipe on this piece and I really didn't like the way it came out. So I'm gonna reuse the sample board and make a new recipe. I got an idea in mind I wanna test. Let's check this out. Okay guys, I've sanded this with 220 grit. I wiped the dust with uh, alcohol and I'm just gonna fog these edges with some black spray paint. As you spray the black spray paint on the edges, or any spray paint for that matter, if you're changing up the piece and you know you're gonna use a darker color, just go ahead and fog on some color. Give it some undertones that are gonna match. So I know I'm gonna do dark on this piece, so I'm just gonna give myself some dark undertones here. And, and you know, a pro tip too is you can, you can use this this old color kind of as undertone. So that looks visually interesting now. Let's pick out a recipe that we're gonna want. All right guys, what do you think? I got seaside spray paint right here. I got white spray paint. I got black dye. I got coffee metallic and mystic moss metallic. What do you think of that recipe? Let me know. Is this something that you would think is gonna fire off well? I think I'm gonna add some veins to it and stuff, but let's go ahead and get to mixing and see what this thing comes out like. All right, I'm gonna put down a very thin coat of black first here, okay? And I'm just gonna call this my wash coat. This is just to pre-lubricate this board, and that's gonna help me uh, get the rest of these colors onto it. All right, let's just go ahead and spread this out nice and tight. Okay, I'm gonna do this with my hands, I think, guys. Ready? Here we go. All I'm doing now is just adding some visual interest right here in the center with a vein. I really like this color combination so far. I think what I'm gonna do now is just kind of use the excess here and add a dirty pour on top of this.
All right, I'm gonna move this around with my heat gun a little bit. The more that you move it around with a heat gun, the more you make it look like marble and it becomes kind of soft. Like right here where it's kind of hard lines, as I push this around, it'll soften it up. That's why it doesn't matter if you move it around with your hands, you can come back and erase anything that doesn't look natural to you. I got our gold metallic powder mixed in 91% isopropyl alcohol. You use a half a bag of our metallic to eight ounces of alcohol. Make sure it's spraying out how I want. I think I'm only gonna do this in certain areas. So I, I like it there. I think I'm gonna kinda do this whole section right here. Maybe some down here. That's really a cool effect that you get just by lacing that. And I think I'll do like some up here. I think I'll finish this whole section right here. Go through here and I'll touch anything that looks fake like this looks a little fake to me. So I'm just gonna tap it so it doesn't look like circles. A little bit of a, like a circle there. Just make it abnormal by tapping it so it doesn't look like a droplet. So let's say I wanted a, a section a little bit blue. You can use the metallic cobalt blue or any of our metallics from Rust-Oleum. We sell these right on our site at Stone Coat Countertops. I just wanna tone this into blue, okay? So I can just fog it. And then that's exactly what it does there. Just gives it a blue hue right there. Really fun. If this was a fixed countertop in place, I would let this dry, come back tomorrow. Have you seen our videos on how to do a clear coat? You can do a clear coat right in place over your old existing countertops after you do this. It's just our same material with none of those additives. But if you're doing this offsite, let's say I built countertops, have you seen the videos on how we build these from scratch using wood? You can actually make wood look like stone. But if you have built it off-site or maybe in your garage, we now have the ability to use gravity to our advantage. So I'm gonna go ahead and tilt this just to give it a little bit of natural movement. Now, what I want you to do is pay attention to right now. This is how it looks before, and this is how it'll look after. So let me know in the comments. I loved it before you tilted it, or the tilt worked wonders. Let me know in the comments below. I love the tilt, or not for me. Have you seen our marble effect spray? This is an awesome way to fracture a piece. You can do this after it's dry, or you can do it while it's wet. You see, the effect will do different things. If it's wet, it's gonna pull some of that fracturing apart and break it up and look a little bit more chunky and choppy. If you do it after the effect, the lines will stay one line. It's just depending on what you're looking for. So I'm gonna actually do this while it's wet. The epoxy will still level, it's moving as it dries, and so it might stretch that out and look really cool. I'm gonna add a little bit of fracturing, but take a note, do you like it before or after the fracturing? Here's what it looks like before, I'm about to fracture it, let me know what you like better. I love the fracturing or no, I would have left it alone. I'm gonna do my edges first, and then I'll add any more to the center as needed. Hey guys, I'm Mitch with Stone Coat Countertops. We really hope you're enjoying this video. We like this recipe so much, we turned it into an exotic fractured granite epoxy kit. Everything you need to follow along with Mike and learn these amazing epoxy techniques to up-level your next project is included.
Oh, I really like that contrast there, man. That's, that's gonna look really cool. Guys, I had a blast making this piece. It was absolutely fun. It's really interesting to see what you can create just using a little bit of imagination. That's really the only limitation. Um, you know, running this back, I used a combination of metallic powders. I used some dye. I used some spray paint. I used our clear stone coat countertop epoxy. And then I used that marble effect. I used some alcohol. I showed a lot of different techniques. By adjusting the colors and the techniques that I used to your taste, you can really customize this to any space. It's super versatile and very inexpensive when you compare this to natural stone, laminate, solid surface, cultured marble. The sky's the limit. You know, it's really the the, the medium that designers love because you can be on a massive budget and still get that high-end look. You know, I'm gonna clear coat this and it'll really add depth. I like what that marble effect did. I used the white to get some contrast. We have silver and black as well, and both of those would give a completely different look. The most successful customers actually take a sample. Sometimes they go to, you know, the thrift store. They buy a small table and they'll do a little piece. They'll get their feet wet, no pun intended, and they'll actually try this out on a piece of furniture that they'll have live in their house. You know, they'll, they'll get that sample done and it'll be functional. And then they, they get through that learning curve and they do their own project. And some of the reviews that we have are just amazing. We have over a thousand five-star reviews of folks who have done this and loved it their very first time. This is DIY friendly. It's heat resistant, it's scratch resistant, it's impact resistant, it's designed for the do-it-yourselfer and it's contractor approved. It's food safe. You can actually do this in a commercial kitchen. Stone Cold kind of tops, you got this. Great, great comment. comment. We got a great comment here. Corey Slusher says, how much does a project like this cost? He was referring to a white marble project we did over old laminate. That's a great question, Corey. It only costs about $5 a square foot. So that kitchen, it's about 250 bucks. Can you believe it? It's unbelievable. Check out our website. You can see our kits that get your projects from concept to complete. Content. Bonus content, we're actually peeling up the drips from that countertop. Oh, those are so cool. And this is still really fresh. It's only cured a little bit. And so I'm gonna use one of our cups, our excess cups, and I'm just gonna make a cool little pencil holder or a vase or a cup or anything. You can just wrap that over that and just simply shape it over that cup. I'm gonna take some tape Make it tight around there. We'll see what this looks like in a day or two. I think it'll be a cool little project. And I could actually take this and just tear some of this off so it's not so big. Ugh. Ugh. There we go. We'll see how those look. Guys, these are all dry. I love what we did with the scrap. We have some duct tape around here. We're just gonna take that off and I'm gonna see what we created with that scrap material. It really holds its shape quite nicely. So I love, you can create like your own custom epoxy vase, flower holder, pencil holder. You can hold tools. What can't you do with your epoxy scraps? It totally matches that project. I don't know, let me know. What would you do with your scrap material? I've seen this done on some videos. I really liked it and it worked out really cool. Let's do this next one. That's cool, man. It gives me a lot of ideas. You know, you can, uh, you can do this with translucent, maybe put a little bit of dye in there. You can really create objects like this for fun. You know, don't waste your epoxy, make something with it. Until next time from Stone Coat Countertops, you got this. We'll see you 
on the next video. Hey guys, real quick, before you go, can we just please appreciate this sick piece though? I mean, really, come on. To find all this stuff, stonecoldcountertops.com. Check out our color additives. Check out our marble spray. Metallics, dyes, resin. Thanks again for watching the video. Hit that link right there. It's gonna take you to a wonderful place with wonderful colors. Till next time, you got this. Howdy folks, I hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, click the link in the description below and that's gonna take you over to Exotic Fractured Granite. That's an epoxy kit we put together for your epoxy pleasure.